love always comes with suffering. There is no true love without suffering. And that is the reality of life. And therefore today, the Gospel invites us to reflect how much love do we have for Jesus and how do we measure that love. You know, sometimes in life when we are going through difficulties, we need to have people to support us. We are never alone. We should never be alone. Uh, don't think that we are very strong. We always need people to support us. Even Jesus was looking for some human support. In his uh, most difficult journey, he knew what was ahead of him. He knew the tension. And he knew that somehow he would have to meet his death. So we have Mary, who brought in a pound of very costly ointment, a symbol of extravagant love. You know, when you love someone, you don't count the cost. Love does not come with the logic. Love comes with the heart. When you love someone, you don't calculate the cost. When your loved one is sick, when your good friend needs help, immediately you help. You never think. It's only when we do not love, then we start calculating the cost. So you can see how much Mary huh, loved Jesus, that ointment, no counting. That is love. That's why sometimes you ask yourself, how much do you love a person? If you are calculative, that means to say your love is a calculating love. There is a certain degree. So it's not absolute love. We have again Mary anointing the feet of Jesus. You notice in the Gospel of Luke, huh? Mary anointed the head of Jesus. When you anoint the person's head, it's a symbol of honour, respect. That is the meaning of being anointed by the head. But to be anointed on the feet is a symbol of total humility. It's a humble love. And Mary went down to anoint the feet of Jesus. So beautiful. That's the greatest honour you can give. Mary is saying to Jesus, I'm unworthy of your love. And it's so beautiful in context. After this, Jesus is going to wash the feet of his disciples. It might have inspired Jesus. That is how we show our total love, our humbled love. And so you can see clearly, therefore, that uh, Mary had played a very important role in teaching us how to love Jesus, how to care for Jesus, how to feel with Jesus. And that is why in today's context, we ask ourselves, how much do we love Jesus? In fact, what... Mary did is actually exemplifying what Jesus did. Because Mary gave her all. Jesus also gave her all. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son. In Romans chapter 5, Jesus died for us while we were still sinners. Jesus is a man who gave Himself completely. Mary was actually exemplifying what Jesus would do. A total giving, a humble giving, even unto death. But we look at Judas. Judas was really a deceitful love. He was not sincere. He only pretended to love Jesus. Why? This money could have been saved, given to the poor. And St. John said, because he cared for himself, because he was greedy. He was not about the poor. He was a thief. And so sometimes we too, you know, our love might not be very sincere. And we have to ask ourselves, are we more like Judas? Are we more like uh, Mary? Maybe perhaps we are not exactly like Mary because many of us don't have that kind of extravagant love. We can imitate something about Mary, but hopefully we will not be like Judas, that the love is not sincere. So at least, even if we cannot love completely, Jesus understands us. Jesus can accept. But I think if it is deceitful love, then to, in the end, we cheat ourselves. So our love needs to be purified. And so let us pray that we will spend some time to reflect on our love for our Lord as we prepare for this Passion Week.